Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here, standing next to uh, State Highway 83, which is a fairly busy uh, state highway. Um, but I am at Rustic Road number two. Yeah, that's right. Previously, I did one of the newest, actually at the time, it is the newest Rustic Road at 126. This time I'm at one of the first ever created. And right there's my sign. Route number two. Um, you'll also see that it says four miles. That's not right. Four miles is only for this road section. It's actually in three different parts. So we're gonna go down here, we'll hit a road, we'll have to zig over, we'll go left, and then we'll make a right-hand turn, get back on Rustic Road to stay on that for maybe another mile, mile and a half. Then we'll zig off of that and we'll go right and then left and get back on it again and then finish it off. And we'll actually be um, in, uh, was it Burlington at the end of the road. So this is going to be, uh, what is it, like 7.9 to 8 miles, somewhere in there. Uh, it might be 8 miles with all the little uh, zigzagging routes that they don't actually count as being the rustic road. But we're going to, of course, travel it anyway. Again, uh, just like in my uh, video for 126, this is the same day I'm doing just another road. It's a beautiful day, and I want to try to hit as many roads as possible for you guys because they're all clumped together in this area. I plan on hitting four, maybe five roads today, so <laughs> it's going to be a, a very eventful day for me, and in this area, it's just a great spot for you to come out and acquire the, your 10 roads to get your patch. I mean, you could easily do all 10 roads in one day. You really could. So let's get on number two. Let's go for a ride. Make sure nothing's coming behind us off of 83 there. Right away, I'm seeing a 45 mile an hour speed limit sign. And that is the fastest that a rustic road will ever be, 45 miles an hour. Whew. Nice little uh, bump hill right there. That was nice. Now, I have... Let me put this down so you guys can maybe hear me a little bit better. I have already ridden this road by myself, okay? I've done it years and years and years ago. But I haven't done it for a long time. And I've never recorded it for you guys. All right, so stop sign here next to the, uh, what is that, a big oak? I actually can't see the uh, leaves very well. Nothing coming. Now the road close signs here are for Highway 20. They're doing some construction out there. So we'll just ignore the uh, the road signs for that because we're going to cross over 20. We don't actually have to drive on it. But we're going to take this all the way down to, I think it's County Road D. Oh, slowing down to 35. All right. Jump it down into 4th. Got some horses way out there. Looks like a training pen for them over here. So yeah, that's a uh, definitely a horse farm there. Probably uh, they do some boarding or something like that, I'm sure. Boarding and training. This is a nice little road. Yeah, now that road closed ahead sign that was back there at that intersection. Again, it's for Highway 20. Have a neat little house. Nice hills going through here. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've uh, done this road, so I really don't remember anything about it. Okay, so here's another Rustic Road 2 sign, and it says 2 miles. 
Now I don't know if that also includes the uh, mileage that we just did or not. I think it's kind of stupid that they just do segments of the road because that didn't feel like four miles to me. Nice hill here, a nice farm. A lot of nice old growth trees along this road. Sugar maples and oaks. Oh yeah, lots of them. Nice farm over here. Ooh, nice hill too. <laughs> So busy looking at the farm, it's like, oh, hill, okay. Um, looks like there's a little farmer stand right here, so they'll uh, put out some of their uh, their garden vegetables out there, and you can go out and pay for them. You know, it's an honorary system, so you pick up your vegetables and you put in your cash. Oh, look at that old house, nice. It's like a cobblestone. Okay, careful going around these barricades. Looks like a new subdivision up here. Some newer houses off to the left here. And some sharp curves, 15 mile an hour it says. I'm hitting them at about 30. This one's even sharper. <laughs> Still did it at about 30 though. Okay, so I think this here will be our County D. It says Washington Avenue there. And looking off to the left, I can already see a rustic road sign, but that is not for us. That is another rustic road. And yes, we will do it later today. <laughs> All right, so coming up onto this rustic road sign here, it says 25. That's not the one we want. We want Highway 2, our rustic road 2. So we're actually going to go past Oak Knoll Road and come down to the next road. And I believe it's this one. Yeah. Yep, there's a sign right there. So there's a rustic road turn sign here. And this is Heritage Road. There's our rustic road sign there, number two. And this says for one mile. Oh, look at that old tree, wow. Nice curves right here. country houses nice field here beautiful day I, I'm telling you I'm having a great time today <laughs> I'm going to hit up so many of these rustic roads just today and I'm happy about it I'm supposed to be home doing dishes but this is so much funner <laughs> Technically, we're supposed to be getting on to Maple Lane again. And this is FF. This is where this portion of number two ends. And we're going to turn right. 
which is kind of surprising because they didn't put a rustic road sign here indicating that it will have to turn this way and now we'll do a, a left hand turn um, shortly after this bend I think it's either after this bend or the next but um, when we started you know we were on that maple road and then we went on that heritage road and then just up here maple road will start again or maple lane or whatever it was Man, nice old houses look at this thing nice okay so there's our uh, rustic road junction sign so this is where we're going to turn yeah this is uh, maple road again i don't know maple lane so i think we started on maple road went down heritage road and now we're on maple lane and i did see a 35 mile an hour speed sign and look at these old trees god they're so big and beautiful kind of a bumpy bumpy section here holy cow roads really broken up got some big huge logs laying by the silos over there now remember the road is only 35 through here as indicated by the sign <laughs> oh geez this road is quite bumpy I, I'm just taken in by all the uh, scenic beauty got some kids playing on a swing set over there curvy road oh and there's a uh, turtle crossing sign <laughs> that was there so we will uh, keep our eyes open for any turtles on the road and the downshift for that curve take it at 30 there's a kind of a swampy area over there so that's probably where the turtles come from another fairly sharp curve so a slow down again did that one at about 30 another fairly sharp one and I took that one at 35 but man alive this road is quite bumpy old farmland field here but it's not really being used anymore a few old tractors and trailers and stuff god beautiful I keep on trying to look at everything and it's hard to do especially when you got the road going around all these you know nice tight curves and there's some more of the Honey Creek wildlife area there Here's a stop a stop sign, but it's it's this Honey Creek Road, and we're going to actually get on it. But they don't stop, so we're going to have to wait. All right, so now we're going to merge onto Honey Creek Road, and we'll be on this all the way into Burlington to the end of Rustic Road 2. There's a little lake down there I can see through the trees. Nice log cabin house there. This has been a nice ride, except for that section that we just came off of, of it being so bumpy and rough. The road is just beautiful. So much stuff to look at tight curves and corners so it's hard to look at stuff when you got that many curves in it 
you know, stuff that you really have to pay attention to. Got some wild lilies growing in the ditch. All right, you gonna wait for me? Good. Oh, this is nice. It's like a tunnel of trees here. Woohoo! Oh yeah, this is a nice one. <laughs> nice curves, the tunnel of trees, the farmlands, the views, the farmhouses and buildings and silos. Oh, down to 35 now. And I, I think we're starting to get into the, uh, the town. So we're just going to have to keep our eyes open. Oh, there's some water there. Is that, uh, that might be part of the Rock River. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Oh, there's my uh, end sign right there. So once you can see the lake on the right, you know your end sign is right ahead. <laughs> so here we are, the end of Rustic Road number two. Gosh, that was a nice road. A little bumpy in that one area, but short of that, just a beautiful, beautiful road. And, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else I can say about this road. You guys have got to get to Wisconsin, just tool around and do these rustic roads. They are phenomenal. <sighs> All right. Always believe, heart, soul, mind, and body in yourself. And always believe I'm heading out to another one. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.